Yeah. Uh, hi, good evening everybody. Thanks for visiting our website and now is the second video about the rate of return of investment. In the first video I already explained about what it means with the rate of return and then there's a there's a two things in the cash inflows that is the cash distribution and the asset price uh, appreciation. Okay, I'm put one example hopefully this will help your understanding. Uh, so there's a two things, cash distribution and two, the asset price appreciation. Okay. If you put your money in the, for example, the rental property, You expect your cash distribution coming from the rental. So every month or every three months, you're going to get the money from the tenant. This is what I call the cash distribution. But because you invest your money in the rental property, you expect that at the end of the, for example, one year or two years or three years, you want to see your asset Uh, market price going up so basically in many real estate uh, business they want to see this more okay and then how about bonds okay I talk about the uh, the one that uh, traded in the uh, in the market so bonds is you expect your cash distribution coming from your interest whether it's a quarterly, whether it's a semi-annual every six months or it's an annual basis you will see uh, the interest coupon coming to you so you can uh, cash out your interest coupon and then because it's a uh, traded in the market you can sell your bonds and you expect your the bonds price is up usually this is happens when the interest rate in the market is going down all right and then when i talk about the stock this is the one that listed in the stock market your cash uh, distribution coming from your dividend People love to see the dividends. It could come at the as an interim dividend, or whether it could come the uh, year-end dividends. And then, because this is a listed uh, stock, it's a publicly listed stock, you can sell your, your your stock at any time. And you really want to see your stock price, your market price up. Okay. So this is what I mean with the cash distribution and asset asset price appreciation. So if you add up these two things, this is what I call uh, the cash inflows. Hopefully you still remember there's a in one year period investment. So cash inflows minus cash outflows divided by your cash outflows times 100%. This is your rate of return. Okay, in terms of percentage, easy. Hopefully you find this uh, very short explanation will open your, um, your understanding about what I mean with the rate of return uh, when you put your money in the investment. I'm going to move to the uh, next video where I will put, uh, give you very uh, easy, um, simple illustration how to calculate the uh, rate of return in the investment. Okay, see you.